Right now, switching gears and in yet another murder at an Airbnb, police in Kasarani are investigating the bizarre murder of a woman who was found killed, her body chopped up and stuffed in paper bags at an Airbnb apartment in Roy Sambu. Well, detectives from the Kasarani police station are working to unmask the identity of the man caught on CCTV footage in a nearby building as well as establish the motive behind the killing in which the woman's body was dismembered and her head carried from the scene of the crime. Well, Kasarani DCIO Jimmy Kimari has warned Airbnb operators to install CCTV surveillance in their premises or risk legal action against them. Mary Morky with more on this disturbing development. Mm. For the second time in as many weeks, detectives from the Criminal Investigations Department are racing against time to investigate yet another death that has occurred at an Airbnb. <laughs> Residents of Thika Road Mall Drive in Roisambu woke up to the disturbing news that a woman had been murdered and her body dismembered inside this building. According to the proprietor of the Airbnb property, Riz Pamodoni, the unidentified suspect called to book the property on Saturday at 3 p.m. Mothoni says she didn't give another thought to the client and she was to touch base again with him on Sunday morning when he returned the keys to the apartment. However, early Sunday morning, the caretaker called her with the disturbing news. A police source who declined to speak on camera told Citizen TV that the lady whose identity they hope to establish using her fingerprints died a brutal death. Her hair was plucked out from the roots and her body cut into pieces. The officer says the legs were cut off from the torso and the head completely severed from the neck was not found. Kasarani DCIO Jimmy Kimari has warned Airbnb operators to be more cautious. Mtu yote ambaye na operate BNB bila CCTV camera. Kitu kama hiki kifanyika next time we'll take action against that person. Umeelewana? Umeelewa. Kila mtu lazima ike nini? CCTV camera. At the same time, the Kisumu County government has issued mandatory safety directives for those operating Airbnbs in the city in a bid to safeguard the safety and reputation of the hospitality industry. In the statutory notice, the city has directed that all Airbnb operators in the county to register with the city management and provide details of the property, location and security measures in place. The directive also requires all operators to obtain a one-year operating license from the county government of Kisumu with renewal of the license contingent upon inspection and evaluation. The county government also stipulates that all Airbnb operators to adhere to the guidelines stipulated by the city and promptly report all incidents to the authorities. Meanwhile, police in Langata are investigating the death of a young woman who allegedly jumped to her death from her apartment. The 28-year-old woman who is said to have been living alone is said to have leaped to her death from her balcony on Sunday morning. Police processed the scene and moved the body to the city mortuary pending an autopsy. Mirimoki, Citizen TV.